So, in library preparation, uh, what we do here is uh, we get the, uh, we have already, already extracted uh, RNA or DNA and what we do next is uh, we will uh, fragment that and then we will um, prepare it uh, to be placed into the sequencers for sequencing. So, th all those steps before putting it into the sequencer, uh, we can call them as library preparations. So, what we do here is we generate uh, appropriate size fragments and then we add uh, primers or adapters and uh, in the end we screen for those fragments which are good for sequencing. So, if you look into the workflow, obviously the library preparation is the second phase. Here is an elaboration of library preparations. So, we have this large amount of DNA. In fragmentation, we shear them with uh, some sonications or we, uh, with sound waves or we can use some chemicals to do that and in the end we see our DNA has been fragmented. Then after those fragments have been achieved, we add adapters to it. So, adapters are the molecules uh, that will help attach these fragments into the places uh, like the flow cells uh, where the sequencing reactions are performed or in case of 454 machines, uh, we will see the beads on which it attaches the DNA. So, here we have the, the adapters which are ligated. So, in addition to that, these adapters, uh, sometimes uh, we also add some additional things like barcodes. Uh, barcodes are special sequences. We put them there in order to distinguish different kinds of uh, materials from one another. So, we can place some known uh, nucleotide fragments and uh, we can help identify our DNA from that. So, we might not need barcodes, uh, they are not compulsory. Primers are there in order for to do the amplification. So, we since we know that uh, this DNA sequencing uh, starts from the primers, so primers are also ligated. But in the modern techniques, uh, we have observed that adapters, uh, they have also been, uh, been kind of uh, uh, manipulated where we can uh, take the role of the primers as well. So, in screening, uh, what we do here is we select those fragments that are having the appropriate size. That depends upon uh, the technology and the length of sequence it requires for sequencing. So, it should be up to that length and obviously, it should have all those important ingredients like primers or barcodes or adapters. So, good fragments are the ones which are selected on the basis of presence of these uh, important components. We prepare templates since we know that our sequences are double stranded. So, here in this uh, small animation, we can see again the attachment of adopters, right? And the adopters are attached to these two fragments. So, they are selected, rest of them are discarded. And then we take these fragments and we uh, make them single stranded. So, since we know that uh, replication is a single standard process. So, same is uh, used in sequencing. Uh, so, having a single standard templates and is an important requirement in sequencing. In RNA library preparations, uh, there is one additional step. So, since we cannot uh, take the RNA into our sequencers, we need to convert it into the DNA. So, that DNA is called as the complementary or cDNA. So, there is an additional step. So, we fragment RNA and we convert that into cDNA and then this cDNA is then used and it is put into the sequencer as a DNA library. In 454 uh, sequencing, uh, there is a small difference in the adopters that uh, one of the adopter contains uh, biotin that helps attaching those fragments to the uh, streptavidin coated beads. So, those beads are used uh, as a, as a amplification and sequencing stations. We will look into them later on. In paired at the end sequencing, uh, which is a special technique in which uh, uh, we skip some parts of the genome and we take the uh, parts, uh, neighboring parts uh, we, uh, of, of that region and we, we sequence them. So, that's kind of uh, paired end sequencing. So, it has different applications. Uh, what we do here is uh, we fragment DNA and attach adopters, uh, then we ligate it in a circle and then we want to skip most part of this circle and then uh, we just take the DNA which is around those regions. So, we cut it with the uh, restriction enzyme 
So then there is one fragment over there that contains these uh, adopters. So if we take them, uh, we can, we don't need to take these rest of them. So in this way, uh, this kind of technique is called as the parent sequencing. We can select those fragments uh, which are containing those adopters and then uh, we can attach the sequencing adopters to these uh, selected uh, segments and then we present them for sequencing. Uh, we can attach sequencing adopters and then we can give it to the sequencer. So library preparations, uh, they involve uh, preparation of the, of the fragments for sequencing. So that, is, uh, that involves purification, adopter ligation, uh, screening, and uh, we can have single uh, reads or we can also have the paired end reads.